All right, so I want to start this video off by saying I'm here a lot, an awful lot. So I walk through these doors several times a week. I'm in and out of the showroom, in and out of the service department. Point being, I see motorcycles all the time. I'm so numb to it that I basically don't pay attention to bikes. And then every once in a while when I walk through, you'll see something like this. You just have to stop. And then usually there's a tag hanging on the bike that tells you whether it's ours or a customer's. This one happens to be a customer. I did get his permission to do this. I had the dealership call him, ask for his permission. He was all good with it. Kevin, much appreciation to you, man, for letting us show off this bike. This thing is insane. I'm gonna try to do this bike justice. There's gonna be a lot of things that I'm gonna miss. Let's jump into it. Not gonna be a full on review. I just wanna show you guys this bike really quickly. So as you probably already noticed in that quick walk around, this bike sits low and that's because it's on air ride suspension sitting on the center stand right now. I really like this because I can literally just walk up to the bike, barely lift my leg, sit down, be on the bike. It's super stable on that center stand. But what I got on here to show you was one of my favorite things about this bike. I say favorite, like there's not a million things on here that I love, but these Dakota digital gauges. Now, I guarantee you, I'm not, it says quarter mile, I don't know what that is. I don't know. So, I don't know all the ins and outs of these Dakota digital gauges. I have zero experience with them. I just know when they cut this bike on, I noticed that and I was in love. These things just look so freaking good to me you keep your normal infotainment system obviously but these gauges right here are super trick i'm not gonna mess around with them too much try to figure things out again not my bike i appreciate kevin letting me do this but i'm not gonna ride this thing and i'm not gonna mess around <laughs> with all his stuff because i don't want to mess anything up while we are back here you see kevin's made this thing super super comfortable he's done what looks like about a 12 inch ape He's got his ram mount for his cell phone that's the same one i use i'm a big fan of that mount got his cup holder for his drink you've got heated grips i love these mirrors on here these are harley davidson mirrors but the fit and finish on those like on another level sorry that's a little bit dirty i promised kevin this bike would be clean and i miss the mirrors my apologies man so you also see it's got the stage three rockford phosgate speakers up here in the front also in the lower fairings also in the saddlebags and also in the tour pack that is insane again i'm not going to hook my phone to this and crank the music up maybe we can do this another time uh, we'll bring this bike back when Kevin's available to kind of show us all the stuff and let him go over all of that. I'm sure if someone hasn't done it already, it's going to happen. Someone's going to say all that money and he's still got the stock engine. The engine is not stock. I can assure you that. So I was told it's a 122. I've gone on and on and on about how the 122 is my favorite kit from Harley Davidson. And one thing that may be different is this exhaust system but I moved this bike literally just from the service department in here to the showroom to do the review. And this thing sounds like a pro street drag car. So I'm not completely sold that it's just a 122, but I'm gonna take their word for it that it is. It was one of those bikes though that even just barely letting the clutch out, she was ready to go. If you see Kevin out on the street, uh, you might wanna leave him alone. Just throw him a wave don't uh don't mess with this bike too much because it's more than just good looks now we've got the lights on in here so it's not going to do much justice but look at the lighting on the back of this bike not only is there a ton of it but how good does that look um, and then based on the harley emblem so i'm not super familiar with lights my apologies but based on that emblem up there in the center on the tour pack i'm gonna say these are harley davidson lights let me set you down on this uh, tripod real quick and hit these lights so you can see what the brakes look like.
I'm sure my camera didn't love that. Cameras hate LED lights, especially when they flicker. So not sure if that translated on camera, but these things are incredibly bright and they do have that strobe effect, which I think is really nice, especially nowadays with less and less people paying attention to you when you're out there on your bike. To me, you can't have enough lighting, but it needs to be done tastefully, and that's exactly what was done on this motorcycle. Now you'll see, same story on the front, all of the lights are white and see man like i've bashed you know lighting your motorcycle in the past but basically what i was referring to each their own before i say this i don't love like the little leds and stuff that people hide under the tank and do all that oh my god <laughs> my camera doesn't know what to do so as you can see by the camera struggling to find focus there are plenty of lights on this bike but very, very tastefully done. So they're all white, they're all that same color, and they're, just, they're in just the right places as well. So, lighting check, speakers check, engine check, comfort check, air ride check. This thing kinda has it all. We're keeping this one short and sweet, cause again, I don't know all of the ins and outs of this motorcycle, but I thought we had to show it to you guys. I was impressed and like I said, I see motorcycles all the time. I walk right by them without giving them a second look and then you walk past something like this that literally makes you turn around, stop and check it out. So once again, shout out to Kevin. I'll link his social media profiles uh, in the bio. I'll throw them up on the screen right now if I can get them in time as well, just to give Kevin some love. Again, man, thanks for letting us show off this awesome bike. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well.